In this example, we're told to compare 2 sevenths and 3 tenths. And you might be able to see that the number 70 is a common multiple of the 7 and the 10. So I'll take my 2 sevenths and rewrite it with a denominator of 70, and also the 3 tenths, rewrite that with a denominator of 70. Okay, the first one here, 2 sevenths. Look at my denominator, 7. To get from 7 to 70, what did we do? We have to multiply by 10. So that means I also need to multiply the numerator by 10. So the 2 times 10 is 20. So 20 seventieths, that fraction is equivalent to the 2 sevenths. Now over here, the 3 tenths is equal to how many seventieths? Well, 10, to get our denominator from 10 to 70, what do we do? Well, if we take 10 and multiply it by 7, then we'll have 70. So to get from this fraction to that one, we've multiplied the denominator by 7, which means we also have to multiply the numerator by 7. And 3 times 7 is 21. So 3 tenths is equivalent to 21 seventieths. And 21 seventieths is clearly greater than 20 seventieths. So that means the 3 tenths, which is equal to this, is clearly greater than the 2 sevenths, which is equal to that. So I can write my answer like this. I can just write 3 tenths is greater than 2 sevenths. And I've done what I was assigned to do, compare 2 sevenths and 3 tenths. And there it is. 3 tenths is greater than 2 sevenths. Now we're told to compare 5 eighths and 25 30 seconds. Well, this one is actually fairly easy because one denominator is a multiple of the other. 32 is a multiple of 8. So we can just keep the 25 over 32. What we'll do is rewrite the 5 eighths so that it has a denominator of 32. So I'll come down here and write 5 eighths is equal to something over 32. And I need to find out what that something is. And this isn't hard. 8 times what gives me 32? 8 times 4. So if I multiply the denominator by 4, I also have to multiply the numerator by 4. 5 times 4 is 20. So which is greater, 5 eighths or 25 30 seconds? Well, 5 eighths is equal to 20 30 seconds. And that's clearly smaller than 25 30 seconds. So I can write my answer to the question. I'm told to compare 5 eighths and 25 30 seconds. I'll say that 25 30 seconds is greater than 5 eighths. In this example, we're told to compare 5 twelfths and 7 eighteenths. So we need to find the least common multiple of 12 and 18. And you might be able to see that it's 36. 36 is a multiple of 12, and it's also a multiple of 18. If you can't see that, if you can't tell just from looking and thinking about those numbers, then you can prime factor each of the numbers. 12 prime factors like this. It's 2 times 6, and 6 is 2 times 3. And 18 can be factored like this. 18 is 2 times 9 and 9 is 3 times 3. So our factors of 12 are 2 times 2 times 3, and our factors of 18 are 2 times 3 times 3. And we take a number from, from each column there. We take a 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And you might be able to see that that's 4 times 9 which equals 36. So that's our least common multiple, 36. We need to take each of these original fractions and rewrite them with a denominator of 36 instead of our original 12 and 18. So let's take 5 twelfths and write an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 36. And here we go. 12 times what is 36? 12 times 3. So that means we multiply the numerator times 3 as well. And 5 times 3 
is 15. So 5 twelfths is equal to 15 thirty-sixths. 30 sixths. Now 7 eighteenths will do the same thing. We'll write 7 over 18 and we'll write this as a fraction that's equal to 7 over 18 but which has 36 in the denominator. And 18 times what is 36? 18 times 2. So we also multiply the 7 times 2 and 7 times 2 is 14. So there we have it. 5 twelfths is equal to 15 over 36 and 7 eighteenths is equal to 14 over 36. And 15 over 36 is clearly bigger than 14 over 36. That means 5 twelfths is bigger than 7 eighths. And we're done. And that's our answer. 5 twelfths is larger than 7 eighths. We were told to compare 5 twelfths that's 7 eighteenths, excuse me. Need a 1 right there. We were told to compare 5 twelfths and 7 eighteenths, and there we have it. 5 twelfths is larger.